You have 30 days to get your website to make as much money as possible. What are you gonna do to increase its traffic and earnings? In this video, I'm gonna show you my eight step super audit. This is the technique that we use at my affiliate SEO agency, LeadSpring, whenever we acquire a new website. Let's check it out. So let's say you found a diamond in the rough. You found a good one. Now what are you gonna do to get this thing off running as fast as possible? We use a process called the super audit and we're not creative. It's an audit, it's super, but this is how we get started with a website as fast as possible. Step one is our technical audit. Remember I talked about this quick SEO wins. Now the first thing you're gonna do is look at your speed. Is the site loading fast? Major ranking factor, right? So make sure all your images are pre-sized, you're on a CDN, you got good hosting, all the stuff, get it done. After that, make sure you're not wasting of your indexing on crappy pages, category pages, tags, author pages. Don't waste Google's crawl budget. Then you believe that, you wouldn't believe this, but at my agency, the search initiative, more often than not, we always see affiliate websites that are keeping their affiliate links do follow. So make sure to no follow these so you're not leaking any link juice off your page. Keyword cannibalization, don't have two pages fighting for the same keyword. De-optimize the offending one. 404 errors, just making sure we're 301 in these to the right place. And then looking at thin content, deciding whether we just wanna delete these or merge them into other pieces of content. Second, we're gonna reverse engineer the competition. So we're gonna use a tool called Ahrefs for this. And what we're doing right now is keyword research. Step one, figure out the main keyword for each of your silos, your categories, right? So if I'm in the fitness niche, one might be protein powder, one other one might be squat rack or something like that. Then we're gonna take that keyword and plop it into Ahrefs also ranks for feature. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna look at everyone ranked on page one for that keyword and it's gonna return every other keyword that these pages are ranking for. Export, now you've just done complete keyword research for that entire category. Rinse and repeat, keep doing it over and over again, then you've done keyword research for your entire site. So after you stacked up a whole bunch of topics, take all these keywords, assign them to various pages, one page, one topic, and then we need to prioritize how we're gonna get these things written. So I recommend making a table like this, and we're gonna have columns like this. Is this topic monetizable or not? Is this, if it's monetizable, is it monetizable with a good affiliate program, i.e. non-Amazon? Is there a decent search volume? Is it relevant to the current state of my site? So if my site's only talked about supplements so far, if I wanna talk about squat racks, that is not quite relevant to what I've already talked about, so we'll give it a 0.5, but at least it's still about fitness, right? So we won't give it a zero. And then we total these things up when we start working through them from top to bottom. After that, step four, we're gonna reverse engineer ourselves. And we're gonna to toss ourselves into, again, a tool like Ahrefs and return back what are the keywords that we're ranking for. You might feel you have a good grasp on the keywords you're ranking for, but you're looking for some surprises and they're in the flavors of these. First, you're looking at keywords ranked five through 10. These are guys that are almost ranking, almost in those money-making positions. They just need a little bit of a nudge. So what you can do is send a target anchor text link. If I'm trying to rank for best protein powder and I haven't already sent a link with the anchor text best protein power powder, that's a huge kick even in 2020. That can be all it takes to get it going. Or check your keyword density. If you wanna rank for best protein powder, make sure that exact phrase exactly like that is written on the page. Maybe you've just written uh, our favorite protein powder. Okay, just get best protein powder on the page. Then you're looking for accidental rankers. These are ones that just had no intention of ranking for these keywords, but you happen to because content has a bunch of random words on it and it just kind of worked out. So example of this would be, let's say we had a page ranking for best ergonomic chairs and we found out it was accidentally ranking for scoliosis ergonomics because you had wrote, written one of those particular chairs is great for people with scoliosis. So what you can do here is just build out its own page and give Google more of they want to see. You just didn't give them enough, right? Google already likes you from the topic and just see it all the way. Step five, we're gonna do a content audit with Surfer SEO. So Surfer is one of these tools. It's a great tool. Uh, there's a huge wave of tools called correlational analysis tools. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna look at page one and they're gonna find the patterns in the content on the websites that are already in the top position so you can learn from what they did right and apply it to your own content. So Surfer's gonna dump out a lot of stuff, but here's the top three things that I look at. 
Number one is entity optimization with their feature called True Density. So what that does is, for example, I'm trying to rank for best affiliate networks. I believe I'm somewhere on page one, but not quite all the way. So I did an analysis and I found out I'm not including words like best affiliate networks as much as my competitors. And in fact, some phrases like affiliate links or affiliate marketing program, I haven't even mentioned them once. So I can optimize and get in line with what Google expects to see on an entity NLP level. After that subtopic coverage, let's say I'm trying to rank for how to lose belly fat. So I can use Surfer to analyze the guys in the top positions and extract out what are the subtopics, what are the headings that they have in those articles. So in these articles they might find in how to lose belly fat, you need to avoid trans fats. You need to do exercise, right? So I'm gonna make sure I'm the superset of all the articles in the top positions. And then lastly, Surfer will give guidance on word count. Step six, we're gonna do a backlink audit. So there's a lot of stuff here. In, in green with these green check marks, these are the things like you want to have with your backlink profile and the links that are linking to you. I just recently did a huge webinar on this, so check out my YouTube channel to see all like the detail on all of these things. And then in red, here's a bunch of things that you want to ignore. But in the interest of saving time, what I'd recommend is just giving this over to an expert. There's this guy, Rick Lomas in the SEO industry. He's world renowned for being the best at link detox and he can get a backlink audit done for less than $500, super cheap. Step seven, click-through rate optimization, right? So what we're doing here is making sure we're stealing as many clicks as possible from the Google search result. And our main levers here are optimizing our title and optimizing our description. So you guys, don't sleep on click-through rate. Don't sleep on this at all. If you just think about what is Google's job, Google's job is to serve people up what they wanna read. What better indicator of that than how long people read things for, and more importantly, what they click on in the first place, right? So don't sleep on this stuff. Here's a graph showing the percentage of clicks that one would get in various positions on page one. So it's within your best interest to optimize for CTR in positions one through four. You can use techniques like this. Use numbers for some reason, odd numbers work better than even numbers, I have no idea why. Uh, use the year and the month to show it's a current article. Power words and emotion are good. Use brackets to draw the eye. Here's an example, nine insanely ridiculous ways to trigger people on social media 2020. Then we're gonna do baseline conversion rate optimization. What I mean by baseline is forget A-B testing. You're just gonna do the stuff that you know works, just the duh stuff, right? Stuff like adding featured images to the article. Second, always write your content with urgency and emotion. This one is probably the most important one, is have strong introduction paragraphs. Your, your first paragraph is your only chance to hook the reader. So use techniques like being super informative, hitting with a fact right away. 45 new golf clubs were just released this month. Do you know which one is the best? Have short paragraphs, no huge walls of text. Use contrasting CTA colors. So check this out. If your website is green, Google the word color wheel. You're gonna find color wheel and you're gonna see I'm a green website. You can look on the opposite end and you're gonna find the color red. That means red is opposite but complementary from green. It's gonna pop out from your page. That's your CTA color, and you're only gonna use red for your CTA. So it's gonna train the reader to only take action when they see the color red. And then remember when we did that audit to find out, can we switch around products in our top five list? Can we put the products with the best reviews, with the best affiliate programs in the top places? Now we're gonna do that right now.